Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In one of my previous videos, I had shown how you can control two DC motors using an Arduino and a Flysky transmitter. In that video, we had mixed channel 1 and 2, particularly to get the robotic moments like this. Recently I had got few requests from my subscribers to make a tutorial on controlling two DC motors separately using two separate sticks on the transmitter. So I am coming up with this tutorial. For this you need an Arduino board. L2910 motor driver, two DC motors. I have selected 12 old DC motors, you can go with any old, a transmitter and receiver. I have this Flysky FS i6, a 12 volt battery, and some jumper wires. Now we'll do the connections. First I'll be connecting both the motors to the motor driver M1 and M2. So this 12 volt and ground will go to the 12 volt power supply for the motors. Later, we'll connect these wires to our battery. The ground pin is common here. Again, the 5 volt and the same ground is used to power the Arduino board and the receiver. So I'll be taking these two connections on a breadboard. Now this 5 volt and the ground goes to Wien and ground of the Arduino board. Arduino digital pin 4, 5, 6 and 7 goes to motor driver control pins input 1, 2, 3 and 4.
to power up the receiver use this b slash vcc port here the bottom pin is a ground and the center pin is plus 5 volt so these two connections will again go to the plus 5 volt and ground supply coming from the motor driver here we'll be controlling two motors with two channels channel 2 and 4 so the signal pin which is at the top so both the signal pins from channel 2 and 4 is connected to digital pin 2 and 3 of the arduino board we are done with the connections if you face any difficulties with respect to the circuit you can get the circuit link in the description box now we'll move on to the code so here i'll be using the same code which I have done in my previous tutorial but some changes in the if else if logic so we are declaring two channels channel 2 is connected to pin 2 and channel 4 is connected to pin 3 you can use any of the channel on your transmitter according to your requirement and since we are controlling two motors we need four control pins which are declared here for pin 4 5 for one motor and 6 and 7 for second motor and inside setup we are making pin 2 and 3 as input to get the receiver values and the control pins as output in coming to loop section first we are reading the values coming from the receiver through pin 2 and 3 and storing it in ch2 and ch4 so in my previous tutorial we had got many questions that how we came up with these values for comparison so these are the actual values which are coming from the receiver even if you can check what are the values coming from your receiver for that just uncomment this lines serial dot print line channel 2 and 4 connecting your receiver to arduino board you can upload this code and you can open the serial monitor from here to check what are the values which you get while move your transmitter sticks so based on the those values only we have selected this so for now i'll be commenting this so if channel 2 value exceeds this value we are making the motor rotate in forward direction and if the value coming from the same channel goes less than this value the same motor is rotating in the backward direction and the same thing applies for the second motor but here it is controlled through channel 4 that is pin 3 so again the same logic if it's greater than forward direction and if it's less than this value the second motor will go in the backward direction if either of the condition satisfies then we are making all the motors to switch off so this is the simple code now we'll upload the code and before connecting your arduino to the computer make sure you have not connected the 12 volt power supply after uploading you can disconnect it from your computer and connect the 12 volt power supply
so this is the channel 2 forward and backward and the second motor in channel 4 forward and also backward I hope this video will be useful if you have any doubts just let me know in the comment section below the code and the circuit diagram link is available in the description for more such videos you can subscribe to us and also follow us on instagram thank you for watching we'll be back in another interesting video